Okay, pyloclimate is an interesting item that came out some years ago because now we are very interested to know what could be our features in terms of climate and what kind of impact has the human, humanity, to control this changing of climate. So what we have done is to try to go back in the story of the Earth to try to understand which has been the climate in the past and now we are able to go back to two millions of years ago to have an idea how the Earth changed in terms of climate in the last time. And using this data, we can compare what has occurred with which will occur. Now we, now we are interested in to know what is the future, of course. But to do this, we have to be sure that we know exactly what has occurred in the past. To do this, I mean, I'm a geologist, so to do this, I know that in the rocks is preserved the record of the ancient climate. So what we are trying to do now is to try to understand which has been the changing occurred in the last recent time. When we speak about recent time is the last 100,000 years ago, because 100,000 years ago is the most closer time to our present time. And what we are trying to do now is using rocks, using sediments, using, for instance, pileotems, so concretions growing in the caves, to try to understand which has been the variations and what kind of trigger has uh, done this changing. Because the, the, the idea is how important is the human, humanity to control or to allow or to speed some climate changes. What we know now from rocks is that in the past, in the last interglacial time, that is the last similar time in terms of climate occurring now, we know that there were several changes in terms of climate and we know that the human didn't play any role at that time. So now our aim is to discover which is the role of the humanity to speed or to slow down some normal occurring climatic changes.